What's good, Money Squad? Your boy J Money Good is back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. And in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about a couple of different coin making methods you guys could be doing right now. Uh, we're also going to be talking about what we're getting ready to do to prepare for next year, guys. We do have Madden 24 on the horizon, guys. So, what we're doing already, man, we're going ahead, we're starting our multiple accounts. That way we can have millions of coins for next year on many different accounts here in the Money Squad. We've already talked about it in the Discord. Uh, I'm going to start putting it over on my Twitter page. And I want to bring it to you guys here on YouTube. So do me a favor, guys. Look down, smack that thumbs up if you guys do enjoy my content. And you want more coin making methods to help you guys. Go ahead and get them stacks out there in Madden 23, 24 going forward. Right? So you can see here, man. Uh, EA Sports made it super, super easy for us. Now, it, last year, it was really easy. We had the trade block. They took that away from us, right? So all you have to do, man, go on your system. You can create up to five accounts on PS. I'm going to do about three. You know, that's good for me. Plus, it's a lot of, you know, solo grinding. I'm not a big solo grinder, so I'd rather just make the coins on one account, right? So all you guys do, man, come over here. Uh, you're going to play all of your legend solos. You're going to go ahead and get tokens from them. You can see two ultimate legend tokens right there. Once you're done doing these, you're going to get these little helmet tokens, guys. Very simple. Very easy. Oh, you can do your team of the year solos as well. Uh, go do. So if you're going to start up a new account, right, you're going to do the ultimate legends, right? Because uh, you want to be able to have enough to get like as many rookie premieres as you can done. Usually they give us like one for free right uh go ahead and knock your team of the year out that um that should give you a uh, token as well or a team of the year player the team of the week solos do your team of the week solos that's what it is it was team of the week so do your team of the week solos not team of the year do your team of the week right do your weekly wild cards uh on multiple accounts if you want to go ahead and like add more coin um and that'll give you like training and players as well to build your team up on a separate account in case you want to do grind it out extra you know what i'm saying so uh team of the week right here this should give you all the tokens you need if you want to go ahead and make an additional like 500k but if you don't want to do all that work man just do your ultimate legends right ultimate legends uh should go ahead and um and be enough for you guys right uh you, you should be able to get a million coins from each ultimate legend that you go ahead and do so you go ahead and knock those solos out get your tokens head over to sets once you're done man and um you're gonna do this now man if, if you guys can because we got downtime in madden there's not really a lot to do so this is like the best time to go ahead and knock this out here so if you come over here go to ultimate legends and then you're going to go ahead, you're going to add your, your tokens in. You can go ahead, you can build a Richard Sherman right now. You think he's going for like a million coins. Uh, you want to check the prices beforehand, right? So UL, token boss, you can do this up to three times. So you're going to have enough solos through till the end of Madden to go ahead and do this three times. I don't know if the 99s are going to be selling for a million coins later on down the road. Well, you can go ahead and make a mill right now, right? So that'll help you out. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be doing this. Uh, you can create the Larry Legend, the Bruce Smith. I think Sherm's still going for a million. I think Peyton's still going for a million as well. Create one of the four and then sell them off. So you have enough to do one right now. Uh, go ahead and do this to the end of the year. Get up to three million coins. Once Rookie Premieres come, if you guys don't know what Rookie Premieres is, uh, Rookie Premieres is a program that EA Sports gives us at the end of the year. So that way we can go ahead and like take players and coins into the next madden with this so i mean it really is a cool program you know and and it's really not right to ab abuse it but you know they took away the, the you know the the, the uh, trade block for us so this is the only way to do it you can see man we started the year off with 86s i got the auctionable ones they were going for a pretty high price and you can you know start off with like one to two million coins depending on how the program is in madden 24 but it's a good way to go ahead and get a jump on multiple accounts that way if you're you know next year you start off bad you wind up running out of coins hey man i got another account i go rip packs on that for me dude it's going to be about the content that i could bring to you guys right so now i can rip um packs on multiple accounts i've seen other content creators do it usually i just concentrate on um one one account but it definitely would be nice so that way i'm not risking my coins in the beginning of the year doing ea's roles just in case they're trash so i mean that's a good way to find out hey man let me go roll on my alternate account and if it's if it's bad we're not going to touch it on our main account you know what i'm saying so good way to help you navigate the waters of the next madden that does come out right so the program should be dropping in a little little bit I and mean, we still got a little bit of time i got golden tickets coming next week okay so 
Good way to go ahead and get a jump on that. That's the first thing we're going to talk about. So that's Madden 24 right there. Now we're going to talk about Madden 23 coin making methods as well. We're going to drop it real fast for you guys. But do me a favor, man. Like I said, smack that thumbs up for your boy. Not a lot going on right now um, in Madden at all. So... Uh, let's go ahead, man. We're going to go to the 96, 97 filters here for you guys. And what I've been doing, man, I've been flipping these cards. I've been selling 97s around 230K. In fact, in fact, let's just go to my auction so I can just show you guys uh, what's going on, right? What's going on? Now, I told you guys about this before, man, right? So let's go to newest here. And you guys should be able to see some of my auctions that sold. Look, some of them aren't selling because I, I do post them pretty high. Like this one didn't sell at 240. Uh, this one sold at 230, 230, 249. This one sold for. Uh, we got those are LTDs we flipped, right? We got these at 800K, sold them for 1.1 mil. Charles Hellas, we bought, you know, these selling at 230K. So you guys can see, man, 240K for this warden right here, 155. For the press, so I'm buying these at 200k, 195, 180k, and I'm flipping them. You guys can see all these sold here, right here. All these sold, all these ones that got bids. Look, 249 for the strong safety, Brandon McManus. Okay, so that was a, a 240k for the Max Crosby here, and I bought all these around the 200k mark. So I've been doing this all morning, man, right? I've been doing this all morning, so you guys can count, count this up. Like, look, this is 40, this is 30k right here, right? This is 10k right here. That's 50k. Look, this is uh 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Look, 120, 130. I got this for like 120. So, you know, I'm already up. I'm already up, what, like two, 300,000 coins on the day, right? And it's simple, safe, safe methods, right? And guys, in my last video, I did a pack opening and a coin making method. Guys, remember, pack openings are risky methods. I dropped the methods for you guys in the, the beginning of the video, right? The pack opening was not the methods right so keep that in mind man so this is going to be the simplest easiest way to make coins and if you guys don't feel like sitting there grinding out dude you know what i mean you can pull the app up as well remember the 9091s um i can't i can't really show you all that right now but um if you guys want to make look if you just want to play and grind dude look at this man if you come over here do this balling out man i do like this it's fun this is what i'm gonna be doing today 92 plus backyard ballers i can sit here watch my anime and win some games right uh 92 plus 92 plus you want up into 99 or like in 97 out of here you guys can make some major dough and you get to grind the game out and play it right and get some stats acquired uh for your field pass man so um you know house rules go ahead and knock these out man get these 92 pluses i'll have these done by the time the next backer of ballers comes out and you guys can see me open these packs in the live stream that we will have okay so you know coin making methods alternate accounts very simple very easy stuff all right, so um, you can also look at you know some of the, some of the draft player sets. Do keep those in mind, guys. Like I, you know, people forget about like the sets, you know, and they then they become profitable again. So you know, come down here, filter down for your team's draft players. Like let's go here, let's go teams, let's go to. I know the Packers one was selling earlier for super high. It probably came down in price though. So let's go. Yeah, there's a couple up now. Look, 478, 480. So someone did notice. Someone did finally notice, right? So, um, yeah, come take a look at some of those 98 draft cards, man. Some of those 98 draft sets still super popping as well. Like I've been, I've been pointing these out, kind of, kind of the same methods, man. But it still is working, man. I'm flipping. I'm still flipping the 96s, 97s. Still building draft sets, you know. So, uh, not a lot going on in the game, but. This is some things you could do to prepare for Madden 24. Make coins now. We got golden tickets next week, okay? So, as well as backyard ballers, I want you to come into the auction house. I know I'm flipping in and out of the auction house, guys. I keep forgetting about stuff that I do want to mention. Just trying to knock the video out super fast uh, for y'all out there, man. Keep it nice, short, and sweet, okay? So, come down here. Uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to go to program. Then we're going to come down here. We're going to go to backyard ballers, okay? So, one of the most common glitches in Madden is the fact that when new sets do drop if, if you pre-build those sets you could either get cheap training because the new 99s would be something like super expensive um either that or you might be able to build the sets and get back full training value for the cards right which which would mean you'd be getting the 99 at a super discount rate because you get training back at full value so that's one of the most common glitches so what i'm doing is I'm buying these 97s, right? And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until they announce the backyard ballers. I'm gonna try and get these at 200K. 
if they do rise in price when they announce the backyard ballers, remember, we're going to sell off of hype, right? We always try and get that profit off the hype because, you know, uh, prices can jump for a, for a short period of time and then drop back down. So if they do get announced uh, when or when they get announced um, and these prices do rise, we'll sell these off. And then, you know, later on that night, we'll come back and reinvest and have them for the next day. So. You know, holding these, getting these around 200K, they're very easy to snipe throughout the day. Take your time. Scoop these up. If you guys have plenty of coins and this is something that you want to grab around 200K and see if they go back up. You can, you can literally just buy these for 200K and still sell these for 240K. That's what I've been doing. So, you know, I'm literally making 20K per snipe that I get around 200K anyway. You know what I mean? I really don't see them going over 240, but if they do drop, you know what I mean? Or if they do rise. Uh, but still, you can just snipe these right now and flip them for like 240, 250K. You saw my Brian McManuses that I've been flipping, right? So, yeah, I mean, very easy coins out there, man. Uh, not a lot going on in the game. Game's kind of like down right now and a little bit of a dead period. You know, all of our LTD investments were great. Uh, the only one that I do want to talk about, one did come down in price. Now, I think I might have held it too long. Like I said, sometimes they peak and sometimes they drop. I'm still holding mine. You can see he's all the way down to uh, 500K now. The reason is that nobody's on right now. And these dudes are being so impatient. They're just trying the awful now, right? So I'm just going to wait until this rush is gone. Uh, let these little Timmy sell theirs at lower prices. And I'll just wait it out, man. Because this Edger James is one of the most... It's, it's, like, it's probably one of my favorite cards in the game right now. I like a tight end that runs its routes. It's very fast. This card has saved my ass. And in my week, in my month champions, dude, I, I think I've, I only lost like six games out of all of them this this week. And a lot of it was due to this Edger and James. So really love this card. I'm going to hold. If it drops down under 500K, then, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm not really sweating. Then I didn't make my profit. But people are just being impatient and they're trying to list too many up at once. At And, and they're just because nobody's on right now, dude. You know what I mean? Barely, like, I'm barely flipping these 97s. Not all the 97s will sell. Remember that, guys. Sometimes you do have to repost. Keep that in mind. You know, not all of them will sell consistently. You're going to have to snipe and repost it. If it doesn't sell, repost it. If it doesn't sell, repost it, okay? Keep that in mind. You saw most of mine sold in the 230K range where I was only making 10K per snipe. So this is the only one that came back down. It wasn't 640K but because of people being just impatient. And I knew that the market was flooded with this. So I'm still going to hold. Um, you know, it could be a mistake on my part, but I I'm, I'm going to wait out the... Uh, the, the Timmy rush, um, but yeah, we made uh, we made tons off of Chad. We made tons off of the uh, we made like 200k off of the champ champ. And um, let's see, like let's see, McNabb still. I think he was up at 600k. Yeah, he's at 601. So we bought him. We got him around 500k. So still gonna wait to see uh, how this one does. You know what I mean? But yeah. So, you know, the best one was the free safety. Uh, Champ, we already made coins off of. The free safety, we already made coins off of. Edrin's still in profit margin rates. People are just being impatient. I'm going to wait for that rush to stop. Like I said, people are taking a break right now, bro. So don't lose profit and be a nut. I really would just like to buy all these up um, and just start posting them at like 7, 800K because the, the, that's the value of this card. It's definitely one of the best tight ends in the game. Like, it's either him or the million coin tight end. You know what I mean? Um, so, I don't know. But, yeah. So, you know, not a lot going on, man. That's that's how dead the game is. Like, not a lot of stuff is, 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 is selling like that. For some reason, the 96, 97 market's moving. I think EA might be buying the cards. I don't know, man. Um, because they're just... It's just the market is still moving for some reason. So, but, yeah, man. I mean, you get ready for Madden 24... Not a lot going on today here. Uh, I'll do a pack opening video for you guys. Remember, guys, pack opening is for show. Remember, when I show you guys pack openings, that's not the method. That's for entertainment value, right? If I always just sit there and show you guys fucking methods, some people get bored of that. So I try to give you guys entertainment value. Don't mix up the entertainment value with the coin making, okay? Um, so you guys could also see, look, these two rolls right here, I feel like these could be profitable. I want to try these out, uh, especially with this one, uh, how cheap it is. Cause you can literally get this, you know, it costs you 36,000 a roll, but I've done pretty good out of this roll. I'm going to go back and try it. I did a, a different video on it earlier on. Remember you do need the 90 and 91s to build the 90, uh, fours from the 92s out of the backyard ballers. 
So that's going to keep this one in a good standing. I put a video out on that. And I want to try this 92 plus. I think I'm going to go in with like 2 million coins. If you guys are doing either one of these rolls, do let me know right down below uh, how you guys are doing out of these rolls. And um, if you guys are making profit, what you guys rolled and stuff like that, man. So it's, it's a little bit of a dead time. The content schedule read nothing this week except for Backyard Ballers and Ultimate Legends. But next week, dude, we got golden tickets, man. So, you know, get your training now while it's cheap. You know, I'm sniping and reposting, buying training at the same time because not everything's selling off. And I'm knocking my training value down, okay? So keep that in mind, right? All right, guys. This is your boy, Jay Money Good, man. Stay up, guys. Get these coins. I will see you in the next one, man. Much love. Peace.